so much kind of picks up pace as we look toward Christmas. We've begun our parties, we've begun the planning, the shopping, the gift wrapping, even the gift giving, a lot of baking, the cookies and the dinners. And we get caught up at the surface and often with just the eyes that we're given, we see what's in front of us. But underneath it, there's so much more. There's an entire world of life and actually an exquisitely beautiful world of life. Every single Advent season is filled with opportunity, the possibility of living a deeper life and living a fuller life. And if we make a choice now to take these coming days seriously, we will not miss the opportunity to draw more deeply into the heart and the life that God is inviting us to through Advent. We all have within us something of an adventure spirit, a desire to, to set out on a journey, to surmount various obstacles and to arrive at a destination in full celebration of having achieved a great outcome. The greatest of adventures is actually the one that unfolds in the recesses of the human heart. The adventure to come past all the obstacles that the world presents and into the full grace of God that we would live forever. I'd like to invite you to, to join us on that type of adventure this Advent season. Over the next four weeks, along with the Adore Advent Journal, we'll be unpacking a lot of the themes of the liturgy and the movements of the church's cycle to enter more profoundly into the season that sits before us. We'll focus on themes that include watchfulness for the coming of Christ, attentiveness to his presence within us, uh, an awareness of how close he truly is and coming near to our hearts and our world, and then even dwelling in its midst, Emmanuel, God who is with us. And unfolding these themes with the help of the church and written meditations, our goal is to undertake that journey of the heart where we confront the things that have clouded up or confused us in this past year, that together we would be changed as this season is meant to change us. And then making this pilgrimage as a family of God, we'd come into the fullness that he has for us to arrive together at that manger scene in Bethlehem to adore the King of Kings who's taken up flesh that we could see him and know him and love him.